Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Beautiful Omen, where we are at war with Balochistan. We just joined our ally Gujarat's war, and we're going to do our best to siege up some lands for our vassal Coruscant, and also for ourselves. We fabricated a claim here on Kalat. But this war is also against Bengal, and Bengal is a bit scary because he's three tacks ahead of us. Hopefully it's not going to make a big difference, but yeah, that stack of 35 is a bit terrifying. Just a wee bit terrifying. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Guess we'll find out. Anyway, we're marching our armies north. It's going to take some time to get there. Desert. Are there any mountains? Mountains, yes. Mountains. So we're going to put our, put our troops in the two mountain provinces that we have up here. And see what happens. Oh, Bomanis has declared war on Bengal. Beautiful. Yes, you fight Bengal. You fight that Bengal army. So we don't have to deal with it. Now, I'm not sure if I want to join Hasa here. Hasa has been flipping, flopping back and forth whether or not he wants to be our vassal. And we can do that if we marry him. We already have an alliance. The other option is we just say no. And I think we're going to say no. And we'll try to try to get, eat him militarily because we have claims on his lands anyway. Yeah, we're just going to eat him, I think. His allies, just me anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure why Gujarat didn't think about Bengal. Bengal has this giant army and it's really good tech. Yeah, Gujarat declares war anyway. Doesn't think twice about it. And this is the first real test of how this war is going to go. Because we're going to watch Bamanis here, who's two techs behind Bengal. We're going to watch Bamanis fight some battles here. Bamanis outnumbers him, but being two techs behind is kind of scary. I don't know. Yeah, Bamanis won. Good job, Bamanis. So that bodes well. That means this war is probably going to be fine. And then I look at Balochistan, who's also a tech ahead of us. Uh-oh. Maybe it's not going to go fine. I don't know. More trade ships. How are we doing on the Indus node anyway? We're doing alright. We could use more. I'm just going to keep building them. So hopefully Bamanis can keep Bengal in check, and that will allow Gujarat and I to focus on Balochistan. This war is against Balochistan, after all. Reconquest of Kutch, which is perfectly fine. It's his core. And we'll try to take Khorasan's cores as well. Hopefully, Balochistan, hopefully Gujarat will do the majority of battles up here, because I really don't think we can fight these armies, especially not Bukhara. Bukhara's got a lot of troops. Gain piety, lose legitimacy. Oh, I don't want to lose piety because it'll make conversions harder. Alright, fine. Lose the legitimacy. Gross. But it makes conversions faster. Alright, we've arrived in the mountains. We're just going to defend there if we can. We have supreme naval advantage in this war, which is great, but naval advantage isn't everything. Oh, yep, Netherlands has joined with Utrecht, so they're getting bigger. They're just going to keep eating people that way. Hey, we converted another province. What's next? Werder. Go for it. Two years, two months. Okay. Did we lose our advisor? Nope. Still have our missionary strength advisor. This Regency is kicking my ass, though. Look at this. We're getting zero Diplo per month because the Regency is so bad. So at this point, Gujarat should turn his eyes north and help me with Bundelkund, or Balochstan. 
right? You gonna help me? Yeah, yeah, it's coming north. Good, good, good. My vassal is sieging the target province for me, which is Kalat. Uh, the other target provinces are Kandahar and Zaranj. These are both cores of my vassal, so we'll try to feed all that shit. But again, this is not my war. This is my ally's war, so he could peace out at any moment and give us nothing. We'll see how it goes. I should probably slow down time as well. Hey, we discovered Easter Island. Fun. I think he's going to come here to Keta. No? No, he's going here to Bakar. Okay. Fine with me. Oh, he might be trying to attack this army. Oh, Gujarat, don't get attacked. I can't I can't get there in time. Oh, he's splitting his armies. Oh, this is good. He's splitting his armies. I love it. Oh, nope. Okay, he, he wants to come attack me. So I'll let him get a little closer. Oh, shoot. Gujarat has a civil war. I'll let him come a little closer, and then I'll pull away. But it looks like Gujarat's going to peace out real quick here, because he's got rebels now. Civil war is not good for him, obviously. Yep, come on. Come attack me. And hopefully this would be a good time for Gujarat to squish this army here. That'd be really good. Ooh, marriage with the Ottomans. Yes, please. No, they're not split up anymore. Damn it. Oh, they're, they're going to go kill Gujarat's rebels? Looks like it. Oh, no, maybe? No, they're going to unseize this. Ah, I thought they were going to kill Gujarat's rebels. That'd be hilarious. It's a hostile army. Kill it, kill it. No, they're just unseizing Kooch. Oh, they are killing the army. They are doing it. They're killing his rebels. Look at this. Oh, no, maybe not. They're just going to siege that. They're just going to siege that. All right. Got my hopes up and everything. I guess this is a good time for us to go siege the two target provinces for our vassal. Are they both mountains? Desert and desert. Nope. No defense at all. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 10 prestige. Nice. Well, there's no forts up here, so these should be pretty quick. Siege them and then move on. In fact, we might be able to carpet siege this guy, except for that fort and this fort. Marahan has separatists. Really? Could you not? Oh, it's because we're converting. Eh. Nah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Kalat has fallen. That's great. Okay, Gujarat has engaged this army, and he's going to lose. I'm going to see if we can't get there to help. It's probably going to be too slow, though. But anything is better than not getting there, so let's try. Oh, we're going to be so late to the party. Yeah. All right, let's meet up in Kalat and Kar Karan and see if we can't group together and beat them up. He's got a 3-0 and a 3-3. That 3-3 is going to be a little tough.
Okay, this army might be coming to attack us here in Keron. If he is, I'll just move back to Chagai. Yeah, it looks like he is. Alright, move back. Because there's, there's no defensive bonus here, and we're a tech behind, so I can't really afford to engage against that 3-3 general. He would just rape us. But in the mountains, we get nice bonuses. So we should be okay. Persia has declared on QQ. All right. Oh, and the Ottomans are at peace. Okay, so he's ready for the war with the Mamluks, but we got to get out of our stupid regency. Yeah, one more year of regency. Okay. So hopefully this will finish up quickly. He's going to go unsiege Zaranj. Yeah, he's going to go unsiege Zaranj. That's okay. There we go. Okay. Keep exploring. Well, we're here next to Jiren. Go ahead and explore that. So apparently exploring Lima shows you all of this. Cool. Oh, Gujar, it's... F He's not even helping in this... This is his war. He's not even helping. He's fighting rebels. I mean... Why declare a war if you're not going to do anything in it? You know? Now, there's no defensive bonus here. We could potentially attack him here. I think I will. He's only one tech ahead of us. I would like to kill that army if I can. That general is so scary. He's a 3-3. Three, three. Ugh. Four days. One, two, three, four. It's going to be a pretty good battle for us, I think. Our general sucks, though. I rolled a nine, though. And then a one. And then nine. And then a two. Take out the stacks that need a lot of healing. Put them back here. Squish that, come to bust. Actually, he may retreat all the way. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, he's retreating farther. Darn. Okay. And our vassal's getting attacked, so I will help him in the battle. It's a defensive battle in the mountains. Hopefully I can get there in time. No, it looks like I won't, but I'm going to try. Oh, shoot. We're losing claims on uh, the Mamluks. That's not good. Got to get those back. Come on, let me get there in time, please. 15th. One more week. One more week. Oh, please. Yes. Very good. It's kind of a shit general, but look at his rolls. He's just massive rolling like crazy. And he's a tech behind us, too. Oh, shoot. We took a loan. Whatever. Well, Gujarat's just fighting rebels. He's completely ignoring the war. It's not good for us, because we've got our shit sieged. The things that I want have been sieged. 
All three of them. But it doesn't matter, because it's not my war. I can't peace out. Actually, I could peace out, but... Um, yeah, maybe I can just peace out on my own and take the shit I want. What's my individual war score? 19. Now we're going to need more than that. But his capital's being sieged. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Sultan the Third and an heir. Not very good, huh? Not a very good heir. Oh well, what can you do? Let's get some shit sieged. Kill that little one stack. If Gujarat can get Kuch sieged, that should be pretty good war score considering the capital's gonna fall soon. But I am concerned about this army down here. I don't know. There's no way I can really fight that. Yep, he's gone up to attack Gujarat. We don't have any siege pips. Ugh. Oh, we finished our colony in St. Kitts. Very nice. Alright, on to Antigua. Which has twice the natives, but hopefully it won't be a problem. I don't know, we'll see. We're getting a lot of sieges done. What's our current war score? 23. I guess. Alright, let's merge up what army we can. Get this place sieged down while his capital falls. And I'll see if I can't help out in some of these battles. We do have manpower right now, which is great. God, the supply limit here is only 15. That's disgusting. Pretty much a good army there. I'll leave a few guys behind to heal up. I'm going to see if I can't take this guy on. Unfortunately, his morale is really high. That's, that's the problem. But we do have a little bit better general. We're not going to get there in time. All right, group up. Gosh darn it. I was hoping to get there before the end of the month, before his morale ticks back up, because now he's at full morale. But he just, we're just too slow. He's actually coming to attack us. Is that across a river? Uh, it is, yes. Okay. I don't think one maneuver is going to negate the river. It might, but I don't think so. All right, let's see how we do. Let's recruit some mercs here. Why not? During the battle. I 
He's got a lot of cavalry and a lot of cannons. We'll see how it goes. Well, we both rolled poorly. I'm glad I rolled a zero. Hopefully these mercs help us win. Yeah, we're gonna win. Ha, ha, I love I love doing that. Recruiting mercs while we're fighting. In the province where we're fighting. It's so unfair, but we're doing it. It works. We took a lot of losses there. 7,000 troops. Lots of zeros. I don't know if I want to keep those zeros. I guess we'll keep them. Yep, Battle in Kedah, defending in the mountains again. It's going to be great for us, I think. We'll be there in time this time, definitely. Oh, I don't know, his morale is actually pretty low. Why is your morale so crap? Nah, we'll be there in time. We better. I don't want to lose that siege progress. Oh, come on, that's not fair. The siege progress was so good. Fuck you, game, don't you dare. Don't you dare, I'm so close. Fuck you, game, we just lost all that siege progress. Fuck you. You, game, you piece of shit, and now we're attacking in the mountains. Fuck you, game. Seriously, what the fuck was that shit? We fucking crushed your army. Fuck. We just lost all of that siege progress. All of it. Walls busted everything. Yeah. Fuck. But how do you really feel, Shen? Why is Najd's morale so bad? The reason why we didn't get there in time is because Najd's morale is just crap. For some reason. It's just garbage. Hey, we found some gold. Nice. I like gold. God damn it, we had siege progress on the capital, gone. Walls breached, gone. Because, you know, they fixed the wall breach in like two days. What happened? Gujarat white Peace. Thanks, Gujarat. Thank you so much. You're the best ally ever. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. And we're at points cap as well. I guess I will tech up. Alright, well, thanks for watching everyone. I've been Shen, you've been you. We got nothing out of that war because Gujarat had a civil war. I think we would have we would have done a lot better. We would have taken probably two or three provinces if Gujarat didn't have a civil war. But he did. It happens. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.